Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is another one of my unknown dolls that um, I have actually in the past week or so I've located quite a few of these dolls that um, I'm just not able to identify. Um, I'll bring her closer to the camera so you guys can get an idea of what she looks like and maybe somebody out there can uh, help me identify her. Um, but just at first glance, um, with the clothes and everything, I would um, put her as a Madame Alexandra with a Margaret face. But um, it's really hard to tell um, because there were a lot of dolls that were very, very similar to this doll. She's actually in really, really good shape, and so are the clothes for, for being a uh, strong doll. She is strong. She is hard plastic. And uh, so that would put her in around the 50s, I would say. Um, they stopped stringing dolls uh, pretty much at the end of the 50s. They were, they were done with that. So uh, she could be 40s, 50s. Uh, she's got a lot of characteristics of Madame Alexander. And there were dolls from Madame Alexander that... Um, were not marked, so it's very possible that she could be uh, a Margaret, uh, Ma Madame Alexander. Um, her dress appears to be uh, original. Um, it's a bride style dress. I'm going to take off the um, the veil right now so that I can show you some details about her. So it's a satin dress and it's lined with some uh, really pretty lace. It looks like somebody had tried to uh, clean this doll at some point in time but did not, um, I don't know if you can iron this or not, but uh, so it's very, very wrinkly, but uh, back in its original state, it would be a really, really pretty dress. Um, there's hardly any damage to it at all. And it's got some snaps on the back that again, um, I'm always commenting about um, how to date clothing off of dolls with uh, the kind of closures that they have. So it definitely dates the doll back, uh, or this outfit anyway, if it in fact does not belong to her. Um, definitely a vintage dress as well. The dress is not marked, so um, I would not be able to tell. I know that uh, Madame Alexander did uh, mark her clothing as well. So that's another indication it may not be um, Madame Alexander. So underneath then is a uh, a slip that is just made out of cloth. Very typical of the 50s. Uh, thin linen that they used. And then her pantaloons underneath that as well that match her dress. Uh, the slip anyway with the uh, little lace around the um, edges there and then she does have on her socks and shoes and this is a very nice thing to find on an older doll that they have both of their shoes and they have socks a lot of times these socks and shoes uh, the socks especially are very very raggedy and torn but in this particular case they are um, they're in pretty good shape the only part of the uh, shoe that is kind of messed up is the lace itself, and I don't know if this has been replaced, but you can tell that um, it's definitely, if it's been replaced, it's still, it's still been a while um, that they've been replaced, so very, uh, very vintage. This whole doll is very, very vintage. Very nice to have both of the shoes, um, old style shoes, how they were made uh, back in the 50s. Uh, she's got no um, markings on her legs. Uh, she is made out of, of all hard plastic and she's strung. So um, like I said, that dates her back to the 40s and the 50s, late 40s, uh, uh, 50s. Um, her face, very, very, um, she's beautiful. She's a really pretty doll. Um, very characteristic of the Margaret face. Um, try to get that uh, face in there right so you guys can see what she looks like. Uh, all of her paint is intact, her eyelashes are intact, her sleep eye, uh, she works very, very well. I got this doll at the antique store and um, she wasn't too badly priced, but um, because of her condition, um, you know, they were asking, they were asking quite a bit. Uh, no, no haircut. 
Um, this style here, uh, I saw this on some Madame Alexandra dolls as well uh, with the veiling that I'll show you in just a second. Um, it looks like um, it's kind of a typical style for Madame Alexandra in the back as well where you can see some stitching along the uh, upper part that it's still all intact there. Um, on the back of the head there's no markings there. This doll is unmarked. But like I said, Madame Alexander, um, she had dolls that were unmarked. So it's very, very possible that this is one of those dolls. And the, um, the veil has probably sustained the most damage out of the outfit. Um, I think the veiling itself, um, it, uh, it probably is the first thing to go on an outfit. So it's kind of raggedy near the end. Um, it's a very heavy uh, veil. And then at the top it has some uh, lace and some satin. And again, I think somebody tried to wash this dress because it's very, very wrinkly but um, restored back to its uh, original um, with a, I don't know if you can use a cool iron on it um, to help make it more crisp again. Uh, still very, very pretty, very, very uh, good display doll in my doll room. So this is unfortunately somebody I don't have a name for, but if anybody out there, uh, if she looks familiar to anybody or if somebody has this particular doll, uh, with this outfit too, if you have any information on the outfit, if that belongs to her or if it uh, might belong to a different doll that you recognize, uh, please leave all those comments uh, for me. Uh, so this is a, an unknown doll from the 50s. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.